I am going to be doing a haul of my Elate Cosmetics order. Let's dive in, I'm so excited. Let's just jump into today's video because I have some exciting stuff. I am going to be doing a unboxing slash um, first impressions kind of haul of my Elate Cosmetics order that I put in a few weeks ago. So first off the bat when we are talking about sustainable brands, I always like to obviously look at the packaging because that says a lot about you know where they stand with uh, plastic consumption. So we've got a cardboard box and this is something I love seeing instead of using packing tape which is usually plastic. So they take the shipping label which is obviously adhesive and they wrapped it around the front of the opening of the box uh, to use as the tape. So love that hack. All right, so this is what the inside of the box looks like. What does this say? This order planted one tree. Oh, I love that. I didn't even know that. So I'm guessing for every order they plant a tree and they probably work with a um, nonprofit that does that. Inside here we've got, I love this stuff so much. It's like bubble wrap, but made out of paper. So it's like squishy. Look, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so let's dive in, I'm so excited. Let's start with this. We have a compact here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So this is a universal cream in color Keen. And just look at how gorgeous this is here. Ooh, okay. So it has a magnet and there's a mirror on this side. Okay, so this is a cream blush. Look at how cool it's kind of like got some, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Like pearlescent to it and it looks a little bit like a, um, like a geode. We'll do a little swatch of this. Ooh, oh, that's so gorgeous. Wow, I am obsessed. I've wanted a cream blush for a while now, so I'll test this out in a minute. Okay, so up next I got a Better Balm, which is also in this gorgeous bamboo packaging. And this is glass down here. So this is in shade Poise. It's like a muted pink, but this has definitely got some sheen to it. Then we have, I guess I got a lot of like pink things. Um, this is a sheer lipstick in color Swift. So here's the packaging, it still has a label on it. So here we go. Whoa. Oh, that is such a gorgeous color. It's very natural. And I love the packaging. Everything is so sleek and pretty. So now we have another little bundle here. Ooh, I forgot I got this. <laughs> so this is the Full Tint Foundation, the Uplift Full Tint Foundation. So here we go, we've got a bamboo top, glass bottle, and this is the shade UC2. So let's open it up, this tight fit. And we've got a little plastic seal on here, which I do not mind because I would rather have a little plastic seal then messy makeup everywhere um, and spoiled or something, it could have gotten contaminated. So this is the color in there and I'm going to try and put this on in a little bit, do my whole makeup. And lastly, I got this multi-use kind of flat head brush and oh my gosh, it's so soft. So this I feel like I would could use for a million things, obviously it's a multi-use. Um, but I was thinking for the cream blush, if I don't wanna use my fingers or even just mixing together my foundation and that cream blush, kind of like a, a blendy brush. And I don't have many brushes. Most of the brushes I have are really, really old. Well, I guess I do have many brushes, but they're all really old. And um, I figured I would treat myself to a new one. So that will go into my brush cup. Um, I got my makeup all in front of me here and I have a little portable mirror, so I'm just gonna use my new products and give you guys my first impressions and then show you the final look. So this is gonna be more of like a summer look. Obviously I'm gonna be doing lots of cream, uh, foundation and blush, so it's gonna be very dewy and I'm not gonna use much powder. I want it to be super natural, not the show, but I want it to be pretty natural, so I'm just gonna do that, use what I've got. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. My face is already washed. I just got out of the shower and put my face lotion on. The face lotion I've been using is from CVS actually, and it's in a glass jar with plastic lid. It's the um, Simply Calm with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hydrating Face Cream, and it's on the pricier side for a like CVS or um, like pharmacy kind of place. It's $15, but in comparison to my holy grail face lotion, which is 50 bucks, this is 
definitely um, a better bet and I've been loving it. So check it out if you wanna pick up a new face lotion. So that's that. I have my stippling brush that I'm gonna go in with um, this foundation, blend it out and make it as natural as possible. And since there is a lot of foundation on the lid here, I'm just gonna grab it from there. I did go darker because obviously it's the beginning of the summer, so I will be tanned. <laughs> so I might just have to blend it out or mix it with a little bit of lotion for the time being until I get my bronze on. And honestly, this would be a good time to go in with my um, big fat <laughs> stippling brush that I got. So I'm gonna try and do that just for more coverage. Feels really nice. And having my moisturizer on first, obviously, is gonna help me a lot because it will be able to blend way easier than if I was doing this on dry skin. And it feels pretty light, like I don't feel tacky. I'll give it a minute to set in, so. It feels more of like a tinted moisturizer than a like thick, thick foundation, but it does, it does have full coverage, which I like a lot. So I feel, I feel pretty good. And this brush is fantastic. I just kind of put a little bit on it, but it's not dirty yet. So like, isn't, isn't gloppy with stuff. So that's nice. Lush time. And I love this little compact. It's so beautiful. Just so gorgeous. And this is so great to have in your purse because you just have a little mirror. I'm actually gonna use a different blush brush because I have a specific blush brush. So here we go. Oh wow. That's like instant blush. Do you see that? Whoa! And the shine. This is the other side. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is so fun for the summer. So I really just need a little bit on and then I'll blend it out. And that might be too much blush for some people, but honestly, I'm into it. Go on my nose, blend her out. It looks really natural to me, not gonna lie. And that color is so beautiful. So now we have two options. I have two lip colors. I can use the Better Balm or I can use the lipstick. I think I might just swatch the lipstick because that's pretty obvious um, the way it works, but this lip balm looks really fun and like purpley. So I have a tiny little brush that I'm gonna use. It smells good too. All right, that's fun. It's definitely there. It's like shiny kind of lip gloss but it's not sticky, thank God, because I can't stand the sticky lip gloss. Love it. I'm just gonna finish off my face with filling in my eyebrows, curling my lashes, and putting mascara on. And then I guess that's the end of the look. So let's do that real quick together. So for my eyebrows, I use just the brown eyeshadow from the late. This is in the color Oracle. Um, and I'll have everything linked below. It's literally just a brown eyeshadow. Right now I have it in my tiny little travel um, magnetic eyeshadow kit. You can see how I made this um, up in the corner here if you want, or I'll have it linked at the end of the video. Um, but I just take a angled brush and use that brown to just fill in the sparse places because I already have some pretty prominent eyebrows. I have a tiny little eyeshadow in here. It's kind of just like a, a fun light shimmer and that came from my like decades old um, naked palette that I recently depotted. And so I just like to do a quick brush of that to add a little bit of something to my eyelids. I have this like ginormous blending brush but I think it's fun because it just kind of gets it all in one shot. And then I have my eyelash curler, which I can't live without. I always curl my lashes. It makes like a world of a difference for me because I have long lashes, but they like go straight out. So this just kind of puts them where they need to be. Okay. And then we have our Elate Cosmetics, um, just regular black mascara in black mascara. <laughs> I think the number is SL0322. I don't know if that means anything to you. Again, everything's linked below, so if you're interested, gives my jumped. Okay, and I guess that is the finished look. I will swatch this for you since I didn't do that. Um, but I already know that I'm gonna be obsessed with this color. Look how gorgeous that is. 
So here we go. Wow. How fun. Oh, it's like so peachy. This is so beautiful for the summer. Ooh. Gizmo loves it too. Okay, so that's kind of the look. Kind of, not kind of, that is the look. Here it is. Um, I'll give you some close-ups while Gizmo chirps his rain away. I look naked from that shot. <laughs> okay, so let's back it up and talk a little. Of course, Gizmo decides to save his chirping till the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, hi bud. Come here. So overall, I am so impressed with everything I got. I don't even think I can hold a little bit. Here we go. I, I mean, everything is just such great quality. If you are looking to invest in sustainable makeup, clean, uh, non-toxic makeup, Elay is such a great brand. I've been in love with them forever. Um, I have a lot of their products now. This was a big kind of splurge for me, but I'm so happy with everything and I know that I'm gonna use it all and for a pretty long time. So that's great. And um, yeah, the foundation I'm like the most impressed with. I love the way it feels on my skin. So I know I'll be using it probably all summer long. And that's, that's really impressive for me to say because I've been using the same foundation for the last two years. Um, and that I talk about in my, um, my makeup routine video. I will also have that linked as well. So that's about it for this. And, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, this is pretty fun, easy, simple for me to do. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this long, thank you. And leave a comment so we could chit chat. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the next one.